Hello dear friend. In this video we will talk a little about the Argentinosaurus. A genus of giant sauropod dinosaur from the late Cretaceous epoch. Welcome to Dinopedia, your dinosaurs channel. This channel create content about dinosaurs and also about all the fantastic creatures of prehistory and the events that influence these beings. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Now, Let's start the journey at the prehistoric age. Holotype taxonomy. What is its name? The name of this creature is Argentinosaurus huanculensis. The generic name Argentinosaurus means Argentine lizard. And the specific name huanculensis is a reference to the discovery site named Plaza Huancul. Morphology of the animal. What is its size? Argentinosaurus had 30 to 40 meters in length. This is about 110 to 130 feet. It weighs around 50 to 100 tons. This is about 55 to 110 short tons. Argentinosaurus height is around 70 feet tall in total. This is equivalent to 21.3 meters and had 15 feet tall at the hips with taller shoulders. This is equivalent to 4.6 meters. What did it look like? Argentinosaurus is very similar to all other sauropods, but with a bigger size. The head of Argentinosaurus is relatively small compared to the rest of its body. The neck and tail of Argentinosaurus is very long compared to its chest. The four limbs were much longer than the hind limbs. This sauropod had five toes on each foot and some toes have developed claws. Researcher suggests that Argentinosaurus was covered with scales. Probably, it had spoon-shaped teeth, just like other sauropods. Animal ethology. How did it behave? Main behavioral characteristics. Diet, herbivore. Food chain placement. Primary consumer, plant eater. Locomotion, quadrupedal. Environment, terrestrial, reproduction. Sexual, oviparous. Sexual dimorphism. The theory about sauropod necks, saying that it was for sexual selection, is flawed. Respiratory system. Pulmonary, using lungs. Thermoregulation. Endothermic, homotherms, warm-blooded. Important notice. Dinosaurs thermoregulation is still a subject for discussion. Some say all dinosaurs were ectothermic, others say endothermic, and others say a middle term between both. Argentinosaurus was not an aggressive creature, and probably, would not hurt a human being, unless it accidentally stepped on it. Argentinosaurus, is a sauropod plant-eating dinosaur, feeding on leaves, especially, from the high branches of the conifers. Some seeds and fruits, could also end up in their menu. Footprints and fossils, found near water, coastal areas, and in flood plains, suggests that maybe some sauropods dinosaurs could live in water occasionally. Sauropod dinosaurs could walk in packs, so they can cooperate against eventual predators. Predators commonly aim to attack younger and smaller sauropods. Adult sauropods defend their youngers, keeping them inside of the herd. The main weapon of this animal is its enormous size and its strong tail that it tosses against predators. Predators rarely attack an Argentinosaurus, due to its enormous size. Some researchers say that, some sauropod species, could rear up on their hind legs, in some stage of their lives. But this concept, doesn't have much acceptance. Argentinosaurus, had a slow and carefree walk. What did it eat? The primary food source was the conifer's leaves. Other plants, seeds, and fruits could be the secondary source. Paleoecology. Where did it lie? Argentinosaurus was found in Patagonia, Argentina. Geology. When did it lie? This animal lived in the late Cretaceous period, Middle Cenomanian to Early Turonian ages, about 96 to 92 million years ago. Paleontological discovery. How was it discovered? An Argentinosaurus calf bone, also called fibula, was found in 1987. The bone was found by a farmer, named Guillermo Heredia, in his farm, Los Obras. 
Los Obras Farm is about 8 kilometers away from Plaza Huanquil City in an Argentine province called Nucan Province in northern Patagonia. Guillermo, at first moment, thought it was petrified wood. In year 1989, the Argentine paleontologist, Jose Fernando Bonaparte, he drove an excavation and recovered more parts of the individual. This specimens became the holotype of Argentinosaurus huanculensis under the number MCFPVPH1. Miscellaneous. Additional information. Argentinosaurus is a strong candidate to be the largest creature that has ever walked on the earth. This does not include sea creatures like the Megalodon for example. The Gigantosaurus and the Argentinosaurus lived at the same time and in the same territory and it's very likely that the Gigantosaurus was a threat even to the huge Argentinosaurus, mainly due to the fact that they hunted in flocks. Researchers evaluate that the maximum speed of the Argentinosaurus was 5 miles per hour, and certainly when they fled, they caused enormous damage where they passed. Argentinosaurus belongs to the family of the Titanosaurus, the great herbivorous sauropods. The eggs from the Argentinosaurus can reach up to 30 centimeters in diameter, the females put between 10 and 15 eggs at a time. This probably increased the probability of some young dinosaur reach their adult age without being devoured by a predator. Some experts believe that an Argentinosaurus newborn could took three or four decades to reach its full adult size. It was never found, an entire Argentinosaurus fossil. Some people from North America says that Amphicoelias fragilimus is greater than Argentinosaurus, but they cannot assure this theory. How it was extinct? Argentinosaurus probably was extinct in the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. Together with all non-avian dinosaurs, the most accepted hypothesis is the Alvarez hypothesis. This is about a falling asteroid in the peninsula of Yucatan in Mexico. What is still not known about it? The sauropod's neck posture is still subject of discussion, and Argentinosaurus is included among them. Some say that the neck posture is closer to an horizontal line. Others say that this is a more upright posture. The support of the huge neck and the pumping of blood to the brain are the main points which would influence their posture and are much discussed. About this creature and the museums. Here go some of the museums where you can find fossils and models. One. Carmen Funes Municipal Museum. Location. Plaza Huanquil, Nucan Province, Argentina. 2. Atlanta's Fernbank Museum. Location. Atlanta, Georgia, USA. About this creature, and the cryptozoology. The, Mokul M. Bembe creature. The Mokul M. Bembe, is a water-dwelling entity, that supposedly, lives in the, Congo River Basin. Sometimes described as a living creature, sometimes as a spirit. The Mokul M. Bembe creature is often associated with extinct sauropod dinosaurs, and Argentinosaurus was a sauropod dinosaur. About this creature and the media, Argentinosaurus played a role in movies and documentaries. Here goes a list. 1. The TV series episode. Title. Walking with Dinosaurs, Special, Land of Giants. 2. The BBC's documentary. Title. Planet Dinosaur. 3. The IMAX movie. Title. Dinosaurs, Giants of Patagonia. Animal Taxonomy. Scientific Classification. Kingdom. Animalia. Phylum. Chordata. Clade. Dinosauria. Order. Sauricea. Suborder. Sauropodomorpha. Clade. Sauropoda. Clade. Titanosauria. Clade. Loncosauria, genus, Argentinosaurus by Jose Fernando Bonaparte and Rodolfo Anibal Coria, type species, Argentinosaurus huanculensis by Jose Fernando Bonaparte and Rodolfo Anibal Coria, 1993. The Argentinosaurus is the best candidate to be the greatest creature who has ever walked on the earth. Its colossal size and its height, high and elongated, makes it an incredible and fantastic being. If you are watching the video until now, don't forget to like it and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.
See you in the next video. Goodbye.